Okay, here's a short video of our 2007 Jayco Swan pop top. Um, the Swan is the biggest model out of the pop tops that Jayco build. Uh, this one is certified self contained uh, for three people. It's a six person camper, but um, at the time I got it contained, the only thing reducing it to three was the size of the portaloo toilet we had. So if you're prepared to get a bigger one of those, you can get it up to six people. Um, it's obviously got the bed ends, and then the bag on top there is what they call a bed end fly. Um, you don't actually need them, like the bed, the tent is completely waterproof as it is. But by putting the fly over it, it um, reduces the heat in the, in the uh, middle of summer. It gives it another layer to keep the heat out. There's one of those at each end. Both beds appear to be doubles or slightly bigger than a double and they easily fit two adults. I'm six foot three and well over a hundred kilos and can happily climb in and out of those. They don't feel flimsy or anything like that. Uh, it's got a back bumper on it. Uh, now on this side here, this is the side with the door, you've got that big bag which can be removed but that's the roof for your awning. And then the awning itself, so you can just put the roof out or you can leave it as it is now. Uh, you can put the roof out or in that bag there are the awning sides. The awning roof has been used reasonably regularly but the sides are basically brand new. Um, there is a locker behind here which is where I keep the barbecue in that but basically it's a big through locker for all your long stuff. And it actually goes under those seats there. Um, the tyres are, what are they, they're about 60 to 70 percent of the tread left on them. Good condition. Uh, it's got a spare wheel on the back. Uh, solar panel on the roof, can't see that right now. As you walk in you've got cupboards and drawers directly on your right which you can reach from the ground. Uh, comes with a fold-out steel step. Straight ahead to your fridge. The fridge can run on gas, 230 volts, or it can run on 12 volts from your car, if you have your car wired that way. Um, most people don't use the 12 volt option. You just um, plug your caravan into 230 volts before you go camping, cool the fridge down, load it up. And then once you arrive, run it on gas because you can't run the fridge on gas while you're moving. You're not allowed. Um, so the front bed. Now I can't tell any difference in size between the beds, but apparently the front bed is fractionally longer, fractionally wider than the back one. But to me, they seem identical. Um, easily fits two uh, two big adults. The rear bed easily fits two two big adults as well. Um, this dining table thing, uh, that folds down into a bed so the table drops down to fill the gap and then you use the backrest cushions plus there's a little cushion there that fills the gap and that becomes a bed for a child. Um, one adult could, short adult could uh, sleep in there or two kids. Um, the other bed here is the couch where I've got the bag sitting at the moment. Um, as it is, it's those are the only cushions we have for it. But you can get a timber insert that fills this gap along here and then you can use another cushion or get another cushion to fill that to make another double, but um, we've never needed that, so that's not uh, something we've got. Um, all the lights in the caravan have been converted to LED. That just means your battery will last 10 times longer because they don't draw as much power. Um, it's got a skylight. You just wind it up to let the air in and out. Nice big cupboard for, uh, we use it as a pantry. Normally put all our food and stuff in here and just keep your clothes in, that, in a bag at the end of your bed. Uh, the cupboard, there's plenty of storage space like, under the seats. 
do storage for extra blankets and that sort of thing. Uh, all the stuff that's in here as far as pots and plates and that sort of stuff won't be coming with the caravan. Um, the caravan will come with uh, the gas bottles, the power leads, the water filling hose, the roll away trolley for um, removing your grey water, your sink water. Um, but your yeah, pots and pans and utensils and blankets and that won't be coming with it. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh, this model also has an inverter, um, a small inverter. So basically, if you're camping off grid, you'll be running on the solar panel for your electrics and gas for your fridge. But if you do have a small item like phone chargers and that under here, I can't see it, but under there is a power point which by flicking the inverter switch um, turns on and you can run 230 volt stuff, uh, small stuff, no problem. It's also a cigarette lighter for charging your phones and that sort of stuff. Um, this model has had a 12 volt water pump added, so you just have the switch there, then you tap on. Uh, it has a water tank underneath. Now I'm not entirely sure of the size from memory. It's 90 something litres or 89 litres. But yeah, it's all good. Uh, oh, the oven and hobs. So you've got three gas elements and one electric. Uh, the electric obviously only works when you're plugged into the 230 volts. It's also got a grill and a proper gas oven. Um, hasn't had a lot of use to be honest. The, the hobs get a little bit of use boiling water in that, but normally we cook outside on a barbecue. Uh, all the windows are in good condition. They're all plastic, or in here they're all plastic windows. When you unzip them you have a fly screen on the outside. Uh, in fact that's the same, all windows have got fly screens on them, including the hatch. So as long as you keep the door closed you'll never have flies inside, in theory. Uh, all the curtains are good, all the canvas is good, there's the odd little mark but there's definitely no rips or, or mould or anything that's set in. Um, yeah, just the usual wear and tear, nothing, no water leaks in the ceiling, nothing like that. All good. <laughs>